Herschel Space Telescope was named after William Herschel, who discovered the infrared spectrum of the planet Uranus. Its mission was to study the universe in infrared, how stars, galaxies, and planets form, what comets and asteroids are made of, the molecular chemistry of the universe, and trace any signature of water that can be found. It was able to see the coldest and dustiest objects in space. During its mission, Herschel made 35,000 scientific observations and collected more than 25,000 hours worth of science data from about 600 different observing programs. Ten countries participated in its design and it was launched on May 2009 and lasted until 2013. Herschel was launched on an Ariane 5 ESA rocket with the Planck Space Telescope for the first four months and separated shortly. Herschel orbited 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in a direction opposite to the Sun, a relatively stable location where the gravitational pulls of the Earth and the Sun combined keep the telescope in place. The telescope pointed outward to the universe with its back to the Earth, Moon, and Sun to prevent any infrared interference. During its launch in 2009, it was the largest infrared telescope ever flown into space. It carried an 11.5-foot mirror, more than four times larger than any previous infrared telescope and almost one and a half times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope. The light reflected by the mirror was focused on three instruments. The photo detector array camera and spectrometer, the spectral and photometric imaging receiver, and the heterodyne instrument for the infrared. Some of its discoveries are the Rosetta Nebula, 5,000 light years away from Earth, measurements of the comet Hartley 2, suggesting that much of Earth's water could have initially come from comets, a starburst galaxy termed HF LS3, originating 880 million years after the Big Bang, and water vapor of the dwarf planet Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt. On April 2013, Herschel ran out of liquid helium that is used to cool the instruments and detectors on board, ending its mission. The ESA wanted to guide the telescope on a known trajectory, so Herschel was placed on a heliocentric orbit where it would not enter Earth for at least several hundred years. On June 2013, Herschel was fully deactivated and the final command was sent from the European Space Operations Center. Thanks for watching and keep looking.